Good morning, Church. Uh, this morning, I wanted to uh, talk from Second Corinthians. Uh, this is one of the Paul's, one of the personal letter <clears throat> to a church, any church. Like this is one of the Paul's personal letter to a church, Second Corinthians. And in this, Paul is explaining uh, his trials. Paul is also explains the troubles which he's going through. But he's not a disheartened or a disappointed or making others feeling guilty. But he says that uh, in Second Corinthians chapter 4, you are persecuted but not forsaken. Verse 9, he struck down but not destroyed. Always carrying about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus Christ. The life of Jesus also may be manifested in our body. We look upon our life today. We have a body. We care about it. Or we take care of about it in every way. But we also have an inner man, our soul and spirit. We also are aware about it. Before we become believers, that we have a less concern about that. We were like, what is like benefiting to me? What is useful to me? But today, but now, because of, we have a new birth, we have a new hunger, we have a new desire. God has given us. This is this is a supernatural. This is miracle. Once we are without God, but now we are of God, God's family. And uh, verse 16, where Paul says that don't lose heart. Do not lose heart. As we grow older, uh, this is the nature of the body, is that the body becomes weak. It can't function as it was uh, in the younger days. You get ache, pain, less movement, you can't run. This is happens as this is the nature of the body, physical body. But spiritual realm, it is different. Well, Paul says that in the four, in the second Corinthians four sixteen, even though our outward man is perishing, that the inward man is renewed day by day. Yes, uh, I am become weaker, or I am sick. But there is an, another where we are, because of new birth, we can concern about it. That is a new man, inward man. But it is renewed day by day. It is now walking with God. I have a new desire. You see that many of the people, like, on the, like in their later part of their life, men of God, women of God, as a sweet, they have a song, they have a like a desire to be with the Lord. There is a hope. And uh, this is what we are like going forward in our life. In this world, we have trials. In this world, we have tribulations. But Paul also says that Jesus says that John chapter 14, verse 1, do not lose heart, do not trouble. Let not your heart be troubled. John chapter 14, verse 1. Here, Paul says, let that do not lose heart. We do not lose heart. By looking at the uh, the peripheral things, yes, things are out of control. Maybe uh, in our country or any country, we may say the Lord be praying and it is not happening, but uh, do not lose heart. Our outward man is perishing, but the inward man is renewing day by day. Then verse five, chapter five, verse one, he says that, for this, we know that. Paul says that we know, meaning we know experientially. We know that earth, if our earthly house, this tent is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. What a, what a powerful word that. We know this earthly house this body is made of dust. It is going to be into the dust. 
But if this earthly house or this policy, this is the tent, then this is like a temporary place. You can make a tent and then you can fold it and go and in another place you can make in another tent. Abraham was dwelling in tents, just a pilgrim. So this tent is destroyed or changed. But there is a building which is coming from God, which is from God. House not made with hands. It's not a human made, but it is an eternal in the heavens. Whatever a human being made, there is an expired. There is a life for that. If you made an electronic gadget, it may have two years or three years. Right? A building can be a, maybe, I don't know, 20 years, 30 years of that renovate. All these buildings around us, if it's made with hands, it's not eternal. But we have a building God has prepared, which is eternal, not made with hands. It's from God. And this is what Paul says was to be a groaning and earnestly desiring to be clothed with our habitation, which is from God. This is what we are longing. Wow, oh, yes, my body is like a weak. Actually, things are going contrary to me, but then there is an inward man. This is, is like a longing for this habitation, which is from God. That's amazing. As is, you consider this morning, we may enter in different job, going for different uh, places, different details. It can be, it can be just to, you know, like a, uh, our vision can be totally um, uh, blinded to see these things sometimes. But then again, we look back to this Bible. We look at, okay, my situations. We come to God and say, wow, this earthly house, this tent is destroyed. We have a building from God, which is eternal, not made with hands, which is eternal. That's our hope. God bless. Amen.